you are now welcome again to the we don't play station where we don't play we actually don't play with what we say so today i have some amazing words for you guys to take home because i've realized this year has been amazingly helpful to some people to some other people it's just been a drain and i want to come help you today with about six steps actually six practical steps that you can actually take to transmute your desires which is within your mind what is in your mind and translate that into a physical reality which is a tangible source and there are so many ways i can i can bring about this topic but i want to be so specific that when you guys actually go home today and you take this notes down you actually realize that it's not that hard most people say oh i can't get a million dollars today oh i can't get a thousand likes today you can when you already tell yourself you can't then you can't then whatever you're trying to do is just regressing and that's the whole point about being thoughtful about what you say what you think how you even articulate what you want to put out because people are counting on you and you're counting on people so if you're not able to count on yourself first then you can't be able to help anybody so today i want to help you before this year is over i just want to make sure you're able to grab this and i actually wrote this notes on june 14th i'm sorry i lied june 4th 2019 i saw the one over there so it's june 4th 2019 at 6 59 a.m I wrote this down and I was like, what can I tell you guys before the year is over? And this is almost a year after plus and we're about to get into a new year. So I was like, I'm going to have to put this six steps out for you guys to really take them in. Because if you don't take them in today, only God knows where you're going to be using them tomorrow. So I'd rather help you secure the bag, secure your mind, and most definitely secure your mindset now mindset that's a big word it's a set of thoughts it's a set of reactions a set of processing so you have to know exactly what your mind is saying and what you're actually taking in and then you're able to now bring that out and i'll start by saying this the method by which desire for riches can be transmuted into its financial equivalent consists of six definite practical steps six steps and please take the steps down. It's not going to be a long podcast today. If you guys want to check out the long podcast, check out the podcast I just had with Tracy. And she, yeah, she was amazing yesterday. So I think you guys should go and check that out if you want to learn more about what I'm about to say. But when you come here, you should be here ready to take in all this information so that I can be able to give you guys the gist. So with this six practical steps, I know you're wondering, what's number one? What's number two? You're going to stay here for the next about 10 minutes or so and grab everything that you need to now launch you into 2021 by God's grace. So I'm going to start with number one. Since you guys are wondering what is number one, what is number one? Number one is, and I've been saying it actually as I gave you a little intro. Number one is fix your mind and, and actually fix into your mind the exact amount of money you want to desire. It is not sufficient to merely say, oh, I want plenty of money or I want a million dollars. You can say that, but before you even get to that million, have you made a thousand? Have you made a hundred? Have you made 10? Have you made one? So be realistic. Don't give yourself stress. Don't put yourself through traumatic trauma, if that makes sense. Put yourself in a mindset where you're able to fix in your mind. Even in the Bible, it says in Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2, you got to write it down and make it plain. I've said this before. Write it down and make it plain. Those are things I used to be like, oh, yeah, I don't want to do this. But it's actually happening to me. In my mind, I want to think about, I want to make $10,000 today. Okay, I probably want to make $10,000 this month. How? Then opportunities start coming to you. But if you're not ready to take them in, then you won't even know how to put yourself out there. You don't even know who to talk to. Because every day somebody wants to solve a solution. Everybody wants to solve a problem. And when I say solve a solution, I mean solving that solution to the point where you become the anchor. You become the number one factor 
for that particular need. So when you fix your mind into something that you exactly want, then you're able to now, you know, put this down there and then you, you can now build from up. So like, a, like you like, hmm, hmm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking guys, I'm really thinking, I really want you guys to get this thing. So think about this, a seed, a seed that you put in the ground that you actually want to just say, okay, this is a seed. I want to have an apple tree by 2030. Now you're going to plant that seed every day. You're going to water that seed every day and nurture it in good soil, which means good surrounding, which means intentional practice to now make sure that what what you want to see in the next 10 years is going to happen within those coming years as you see the progress grow. So write it down. I just said it. Write it down. Write a date. Shout out to Demo, by the way. He told me this and he also gifted me this Think and Grow Rich book, which was very, very important for me to take in because he said, write it down. Write the date on your book. Literally write it down. Don't think about, oh, I'm not sure. Write it down. Say I want X amount by XXX, XXX. Whatever those X's are, fill them up. Say by January 1st, I want to do this. By January 2nd, I want to do this. Then you can say, okay, did I do it? Did I not do it? By the time you do it, whatever you want to do next is going to help you achieve that because you've gone through the process and you've actually achieved those milestones. So you set the goals you want to achieve. You revisit those goals as you progress. And I'm also, I'm, I've just said this already. So I'm just trying to you know, give you guys a little bit of some insight so you can actually take it in for yourself. So write it down, make it plain, set the goal, revisit your notes. Don't just say, oh, I've written it down and voila, magic. No, you got to work hard for it. You got to pray about it. You got to think about it. You have to have faith. Then when you do that, the second point will now make it even easier for you. You now determine exactly what you intend to give in return for the money you desire. Have you heard that before? Determine exactly what you intend to give in return. You cannot be receiving and you don't give. It is so hard to receive when you don't give. That's one lesson I learned this year. I have to give to receive. If I don't receive, whatever I have is going to go down the drain because I'm only resourcing to myself. You came to this world to be a source or a light. When you shed your light, when you share your candle, when you share your fire, you don't lose your burnout, whatever system you're working with. You're actually impacting somebody else to now do what they want to do. So when you spark that fire in yourself, make sure you spark that fire by giving it back to someone in return based on the money you desire so that you can be able to now think about what you want and then actually exactly get back what you think about every day. So don't think about financial gain without involving a third or fourth party because if you don't involve a third or fourth party, you're not going to be investing. You're not going to be thinking about what you want to do with your time. So you have to be very specific on those things. Make sure you know exactly what your financial goal is. Make sure you exactly know what you want to do. And then those desires in your head are going to become tangible. If you can think it, it can become a, <laughs> it can become a reality. I'm just saying this right now because I'm laughing just knowing the fact that there are so many things I wanted to do. I didn't do them and then I'm like I could have done them then when I do them I'm like aha uh -huh, why didn't I do them earlier but everything happens for a reason so make sure that when you want to do something you are 100% sure about that intention you want to make then when you make that move no one's gonna stop you you can have angel investors you can have corporate investors you can have your family your friends as investors but if you believe in yourself and you're able to sell that psychologically speaking somebody else can retain that information and actually tap in so do that. Number three. Number three is establish a definite date. I already said this before, but I want to be more specific. Establish a definite date when you intend to possess the money you desire. So say January 1st, you start working. October 20th, you get the money you're asking for. Now, that's very specific. But you have to go deeper and say, okay, by this date, this is what I want to do. This is what I should have done. This is where I should have tapped into. And don't get me wrong. Not everything that you put out there is going to be happening right at your fingertips just because you wrote it. 
but because you have faith and because God knows the beginning from the end, you know what your desire is. So that desire has to tap into the resource that makes you available for that thing to come to you. If you don't get yourself ready for a soccer game or a basketball game, you're not going to be able to score those points or score those goals because now you're fighting every day because now it's becoming friction rather than the passion that you have for it. It's going to cause friction. It's going to cause a lot of tension and you don't want that tension at all around you. So make sure you're able to establish a definite date when you intend to possess the money you desire. Number four, create a definite plan for carrying out your desire. I've been saying this throughout, so hope you're taking notes. Create a definite plan for carrying out your desire and begin at once. Yeah, just begin. Just begin it at once. Just make sure you begin. Don't say, oh, I'm going to do it, and then you don't. Begin. Start somewhere. Everything does not get built in a day. Start somewhere. And then when you start somewhere, whether you're ready or not, you can put this plan into action. Not everybody is ready to have a kid. Not everybody is ready to be married. Not everybody is ready to start a business. Not everybody is ready to blow up. But when you actually get into that space where you want to be that person or into that space of light, then you can be able to tap in and build yourself forward. Today is all about affirmations. You know, literally rethinking about what you want to do with your life and then putting it out there in the atmosphere. Number five. Write out a clear, concise statement of the amount of money you intend to acquire. Now, when you name that price, whatever you want it to do, you name the time limit for that acquisition. So, like I said, January, October, if you want to do it in three quarters, four quarters, five quarters, whatever quarter you're trying to put yourself into, because anything is possible, you just dictate it. Now, if you want to say within the year, within every three months i'm able to get x amount in then by all means go ahead and do that you know have a clear concise statement saying exactly when you're going to get it back how you're going to get it back and describe clearly the plan through describe clearly the plan through which you intend to accumulate it when you accumulate it now as you're solving somebody else's problem somebody else is talking about you and then when somebody else is talking about you you're now reaping the benefits of that first step you made so you have to be very conventional you have to be very comprehensive about what you're trying to do so yeah that's number five and number six i told you guys i'm not going to be here for so long so i want you guys to really take this in rewind this tape rewind this podcast rewind this episode and understand exactly what is going on because number six is the most important part listen read when you when i'm talking to you right now i'm reading out and at the same time as i'm reading out i'm manifesting whatever you say out to the universe comes back to you so be careful of what you say because number six is very very intentional and practical just like the other five but this actually has to do with everything that you've written down so now read your written statement aloud twice daily if you can I'm not trying to make you do a ritual or trying to make you do this thing consecutively. But whenever you feel like within your heart, this is a passion that I want to achieve, then it should be a daily achievement. It should be a daily thought process. So think about this twice. Say daily, at least twice daily, at least in the morning and the night. You know, when you're praying in the morning, when you're praying before you sleep, put it into that practice. Be in that zone. Be in that space. And then once just before retiring at night and once after rising in the morning like i just said as you read see and feel it and believe yourself already in possession of that money or in possession of that land or in possession of that asset then you can easily take it to the next level so use these six steps first one fix your mind find the exact money you want to desire Make sure that it's sufficiently enough that you can clearly see those numbers in front of you. Write it down. Make it plain. Set the goal. Set the intention. Revisit your goal. Make sure you're always checking in every now and then. Determine exactly how much you intend to give back in return. Don't think about financial gain without... I was about to say goals. Don't think about financial gain without you know, involving a third party, making sure that somebody else is also accountable to you, whether it's your spouse, your family, somebody that you can say, hey, did I do this today? Did you have a personal trainer? Something like that is going to help you stay on top of your chart. 
determine exactly how much you intend to give back in return, then establish that definite date. Make sure you can see it clearly. Create a definite plan for it. You know, make sure you write it down. Use a Google Doc, use your pen, use a paper, get an, an extra notebook. Do something that is practical that you can be able to say, I wrote this on this date. Put the date there. You know, ladies love diaries and they do that a lot. So it won't be hard for them. But for men, please go ahead and do something about it because it's gonna really, really help you push forward. And once you write out a clear, concise statement about the amount of money you intend to receive, then you can read that statement out loud, say it twice, pray about it, and then act upon it. When you act upon it, bro, you are gonna be flying with colors. So these are six practical steps to transmute desires into physical reality. I think I've said enough for today. And I just want you guys to enjoy this session. Be in the zone. Be very clear about what you wanna do. And then all of a sudden things are going to happen in your favor. So no pun intended either way. I've been your host, Flay Beats. And you can rate this podcast at ratethispodcast.com forward slash we don't play. And I wish you a great Tuesday. And make sure you guys are able to do the six things. Do them exactly how I said them. And then when you do them, you're going to see what's going to happen to you. So stay tuned. Stay blessed. This is a We Don't PlayStation, and I'll be back again tomorrow with something exciting. Take care. God bless.